Alright guys, I can't stop recording this, so let's go ahead with Orm. We're pretty much going to go through the Dragon Crater. Uh, this is this area here, I believe it calls it that as well. Uh, Dragon Crater, yes. Alright, so I've set my units up in a way, and yes, shaky shaky screen. Uh, it cuts off your path here, you can't do anything, um, and then you will get attacked by dragon zombies. I've set it up in a way here so that... Um, Basically, I've got jute down the bottom and stuff, so uh, if these dragons do get down to attack me, and yes, they will ambush you every time, so they get free move. Uh, so I'm going to start spinning this up. Um, so basically, jute's down the bottom uh, to deal with any straggler dragons, uh, but what I'm basically going to be doing, you get attacked three times at least. Uh, if you're finished with Silka's route, uh, you only get attacked three times, but basically I'm going to be using deer just to make these fights much easier and less annoying, because yeah, fighting these guys is a pain in the ass, so let's, let's, let's cut them down a little bit. Uh, right, okay, this guy's coming over here. Uh, now Jute is the one with the magic ring, of course, so she's pretty much just going to take everyone out, and she is still only level 15. She is still level 20, but she gains XP at a very fast rate. So, yeah, let's just take this guy out. Okay, she's kind of slowing down a bit now. Uh, the only thing you can really do here is rest, and then you will get attacked again. So, yeah. This time, I believe it's 8, and then the last time it is 10. Uh, it looks like these guys can get 2 free hits on me or something. Also worth noting is that Ryoto has the Holy Shield. I forgot I gave him it. So if he gets attacked, he's going to have 13 extra defense against these guys, which is pretty insane, in all honesty. But most of the time we're just going to be using deer in order to take these guys out, or hopefully take these guys out. Uh, so Jute has not very good defense, but will live, I guess. The fact that she has incredible power here, so yeah. Uh, almost level 15, I believe, or is it 16? It's something like that. Anyway, so yeah, deer is pretty much what I'm going to use. Remember, uh, Silk and uh, Jenny have it, but Tita does not. And speaking of Tita, I don't think I brought her up yet. I did grind her to level 8. Uh, she, the, the thing about Tita is she's not very good in terms of stats, really, normally. Uh, she is level 8, but she does get Fortify, which is a huge boost for you. You want her to get to level 4, which is when she learns Fortify, uh, at least, because on this map, if you weren't using deer, it would be, you pretty much would have to use Fortify to heal everyone if you're really far away from them. Uh, she still has that lance on her 100% hit Nosferatu. She also gains Warp and Illusion, and I'll show you her Illusion, though it isn't too spectacular, she just summons uh, Pegasus Knights, they're pretty weak. And they're pretty lame, actually, um, as we can see. There's no Falco Knights here. Surprisingly, yeah, she doesn't get anything stronger than that. And she gets that at level uh, 7, which is pretty late, in all honesty. So, yeah, I don't know why they gave her Pegasus Knights as her summon, but whatever. It doesn't even matter. Power up one. <laughs> uh, I got to rest again. And this should be the last group of zombie dragons attacking us. After this, we're going to swap back to Silica, actually, as I recall. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to rearrange my party, because for Silica, you can only bring 10 units into the final chapter. It probably is the same for Alm as well, uh, as I recall, but uh, I don't exactly know. And then I'm pretty sure we'll be free to go and tackle Magnam, or whoever we want to take out. Also, yeah, some of these guys are level 5, sometimes they're level 8. It's, it's strange. Critical. <laughs> so yeah, they can actually do a decent amount of damage to Jute here, but uh, they're probably not going to be living for that long, so I'm not too worried. Uh, also, notice how they, they mostly come down, and you only have like five guys there, but barely any of them go east. <laughs> and you have like all your units there. So fuck this, fuck this map, like, I'm just using deer and getting the fuck out as they despawn into the lava. And yes, it actually does look like lava this time. Well done, game. 
Well, I don't know why it's kind of like spewing from this volcano top, I guess. It's just like down the side. Alright, so uh, Ragnarok for fun. Why not? You just, you just can't get enough. And I can't believe that he has 52 HP, man. That's insane. This guy is level 9, admittedly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... I cannot reach. Okay, uh, I guess we're just going to take a hit here. For you. Uh, she's going to live, though. That'll be fine. So, yeah. Fucking zombie dragon. Having full HP. But, yeah. He's nasty. But, yeah, he's dead. And once again, another... Oh, almost on our level, damn it. Alright, so after that, you'll swap back to Judah here. And, yeah, he pretty much just like, come follow me, bitch. Also, there's no way down anymore. Cry. Uh, right, so, let's have a look at what our party should be. Uh, right, so let's get our party sorted out. What we need is, we need Jenny. I'll put her up the top, just because she's important. Uh, right, so, um, I'll put Jenny, uh, like, right after Silica. Est, Katria, Paula. We want Saber, of course. Uh, we probably want Atlas, just because he is cavalry, and we don't have any others. I don't want Leo, really, and I don't... Well, no, Valbo's decent, so we'll bring Valbo. Um, Camway I'll probably take as well, because he's the better of the two uh, demon fighters. Sorry, Jesse. I mean, your power is decent and all, but I'm probably just going to trade off that uh, item there. Uh, you probably should do your, your trading right here, too. So, uh, Camway is going to swap the silver sword for... Oh, you know what? He's actually going to keep the silver sword since the dark sword's pretty bad at hitting, so... Yeah, I'll keep it like that, whatever. Uh, right, so last person to come here is probably Sonia. Sonia has the magic ring right now, and yeah. So, the benchers are Jesse, who uh, I would have brought if there was an extra space, it's just, uh, there isn't. <laughs> May, who's pretty decent, actually, um... I don't know, does she actually have more power than um, Sonya? Yeah, by quite a bit, actually. But uh, I'm going to use Sonya in the end, just because she has higher speed and shit. Um, also, Sonya's kind of cool. Uh, Bowie, he kind of... Eh, he's not very good. In the end, he's probably worse than me by quite a bit, but then again, levels and stuff. He actually has five more skill than her, though. But yeah, he's not very good, unfortunately. Leo here, uh, he's okay. It's just, once again, 10 skill. And just, eh. And Noma is a piece of shit, so he's automatically benched. And here's our party. Or so it would seem. Uh, right, so items. Items. We want everyone with an item here. Right, so. What else we got here? We got the Dark Sword, we got the Hero Sword, we got the Steel Boat. Uh, steel, um shield and we got the silver bow. I'll give the silver bow to Saber. Uh, let's see here. Damn it. Uh, I, I don't know what else we have here. We got steel bow. Yeah, we got steel stuff. Nothing much else. Uh, right, so we just need some stuff to move around here. Magic ring. Valbo has the dragon shield for some reason. I'll give that to Katria. For now. Alright, uh, so Valbo can get something. Silver, silver lines, steel lines, leather shield, dragon shield. Alright. Um, hero sword. Should be going to someone. I don't know who, but... Um, shit. Do I actually have no one that can use this, really? Well, I mean, uh, I, of course, Selica could use it, but I'll keep her on the holy sword just because. I don't know. So I guess no one can really use this. Well, actually, Sonya and stuff could use it, but yeah, was not. I'll just bring the steel shield out then and give it to Valbo to make him even more broken. But whatever. Uh, that holy ring, I'll give that. I'll swap them around. All right, this looks good. So we go out here and we fall down here and music.
Hmm. Yeah, I just letting the music play for. Oh, there we go. Um, right, okay. Uh, right, so I think we're pretty much good. Uh, the Moonlands, later on, I'll swap that uh, with whatever Jenny has right now. What does she have? She has a leather shield. Basically, I'm going to swap the Moonlands in because someone's going to have it equipped uh, from Mom's party. So we don't have to worry about that. And yeah, that's actually it for Silica for now. Uh, because we go up here and we talk to Judah here. Flashing Judah. And we get straight into a fight here. Uh, except we're not actually going to fight this. Uh, this is pretty much the uh, snapback point. I don't think we even get a line of dialogue. Oh no, we do. Okay, well, alright. Mm, you know. That's nice. Thanks, guys. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so over here we got uh, some guys doing stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, right, I'm pretty sure we'll... Right, I want to swap you on the second page there. Do somewhere else. I don't know, Rioto. Yeah. Alright, so we're probably ready to do this next section. So the first guy we're fighting against is Magnum. Uh, I don't know if he's bringing anything special to the party, it looks like he's bringing a bridge, but okay, we're not going that way. I remember this chapter, this chapter is very open. Uh, and there is a shaman back there. Alright, so what we got here, we got, oh, we got gold knights and we got bow knights. That is strange, okay. Just having those guys over there, uh, yeah, Claire, the badaboot. And do you, right, okay, how many guys do we have up here? We have a decent amount actually. We have one witch, uh, this is Hest, who is just a palette swap of Mara from before and basically Sonya as well. Uh, she has Aura, she is level 8 witch. I think Mara was, well, I think Mara was level 8 as well. Here is Magnum, the real boss of this chapter. Uh, he's pretty scary actually, 26 power and 22 defense. Uh, he, he's not terrible, but you know, that's pretty scary to me, fair. Alright, so we're bringing Jute up here uh, first of all. Uh, Python isn't very good. Uh, so Force is the one with the quick... Um, the quick... quick ring, yes, quick ring, I was looking for that. Uh, so we're gonna put him up in front here. Uh, we got these two. Uh, Silk obviously has the best illusion. Should I bother using it? I probably will. Just because to make this a little bit easier. Uh, I'll try and heal with uh, Tia after. I mean, I can just Physic even if they are in the way. Um, I'll also move her up a bit. So let's get Tita to Fortify. I clicked the wrong button. Oh well, we'll just use Fortify anyway. Whatever. So that's what it looks like. They recovered 15 HP, so that takes her back up to 31. So yeah, I fucked it up there, but whatever. Let's just go over it like that. it didn't happen. Um, Alright, so Clive is coming over here too. And I will start speeding this up because obviously we know this is a pretty long one. It's going to be a pretty long one. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to speed this, start speeding this up. Uh, right, so we have Om. He, he, I'm going to send him over this way. I will pr try to show off the bows that he has as well, because now he can do that. Zeke is over here, he's not great. Great is over here, he's also not great. Looks like we got a pretty eh party over the right here. Um, mostly because, well, you know, Cliff is here, so that's alright. Ryoto too, so, you know. I'll probably just advance slowly. Uh, this shaman is probably going to be a bitch. And spawn units a bunch, but whatever. Alright, so let's continue. Did something happen there? Alright. 
they're moving up into the fort. Right, they're moving along here. So, well, one bow knight is, but alright. Alright, so attack in force. Right. Well, you have some defense. Uh, I'm not going to say it was a bad move on your part, but it was a pretty bad move on your part because <laughs> 40 speed. You just got to love the quick ring, man. Like, seriously, if you gave this to the, um, what, the gold knights, um, just have, like, 14 move, why not? Just, like, why not? Just, just go with it. So, yeah, a one damage deal. Claire's gonna be my tank here, pretty much. I'm gonna try and show off it on using bows, because that's, that's fun to watch. Also, by the way, um, if you hadn't noticed already, uh, Om basically has the new sprite where he has a shield now. Um, I think I think you've seen him go into combat once, maybe. Uh, but yeah, he basically has a shield, and that's the only real difference. So the animations are slightly changed, uh, obviously. Uh, his critical is pretty much the same. It just includes the shield now. So yeah. All right, player. All right, these guys are coming over here. Uh, right. Is that the only one that's moving? Okay. Uh, right. So let's let's slow it down for a moment. Uh, now I believe you can do one to three range with this. Yes, you can. This is what arm looks like with the bow. Boom, and boom. So he can do a decent amount of damage with it, but you know. You probably don't want him on the bow most of the time. Considering you've had him, like, fighting... <laughs> I don't know. I guess, just like, I wouldn't... I don't know why they put him on this bow, but... I guess just like promoting the bow user, I don't know. Alright, so this guy is doing, like, no damage here. He is a death wizard, which is, eh, annoying, but... Right, so uh, Clive has 13 defense. How much does Robin have? He has 15, surprisingly more. Uh, so we're going to throw him in here. He's not really going to do that much, but he's pretty much just uh, covering for me here because um, because I got to put a tank in the way. Clive might have been better, actually, because he would do it more damage. He has a Night Lance. Uh, right, okay. Okay, so I can only hit this guy, but that is what we will try and do. Holy oh, bow is pretty accurate, as we can see, so it is good. Uh, Jute, right, Jute. Uh, can she use fire on? Yes, yeah, she can from here. Okay, so no death wizard. Uh, we'll just get him out right away. <laughs> I'm not having this yet. And uh, yeah, force can continue to dominate this gold knight pretty much. Okay, looks like we're not going to be able to finish this, but then again, I was fighting the dragons for a good portion of the first section, so, you know, whatever. Alright, so, I'm feeling like, after I kill these guys down here, it's going to be a warp situation. Um, I think that's pretty much the way to go, because, uh, yeah, there is, there is, you know, water dividing up here. Uh, I might kill these wizards with you, meanwhile, but... I don't know. I'll probably just do that warp now. I'm going to warp you to about... Oh, well, to be fair. Yeah, I will warp you to here. So she can sit on the forest there. Uh, everyone else, um, I'm pretty much going to heal. Uh, I, you don't actually have heal. Fucking forgot that. You only have physic. Yeah, for some reason she doesn't get... Uh, you know, recover. That was the name of it. Uh, she d she just gets physic, which is kind of strange, but whatever. I'm just gonna wait her here. Uh, we're gonna look at what we have over here. We got a bow knight chasing us down. Uh, nothing too scary, but I will have Drake over here, and then we'll move Cliff and Rioto up. And Cliff does have that magic shield, so he's probably gonna be the one that wants to go against uh, Hest there. Or whatever you say. She's gonna spawn wedges like a bitch, just like Mara. And wizards have fortify. Fuck. Alright, this guy is pretty dumb. <laughs> but
but that's okay. After this t turn finishes, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to continue on with this Magnum chapter. Or Magnam. It's, I just always think Magnum. Maybe it is. Is it Magnum? I'm going to go check right now. Because I believe it before it used to be... Oh, fuck. I forgot that you can actually go around. Fucking movement. Damn it. It's not like it really matters. Uh, yeah, um... I believe before it used to be Magnum, so maybe that's why I'm forgetting it or something like that. I can't even remember. Fucking hell. Alright, <laughs> one damage. Yeah, so we're not really doing any substantial damage to this guy here, but we're not really trying to, so that's okay. Let's see if the wizard attacks. He might not have enough HP to actually. I still think he has a decent amount, though. Yeah, he does. But that, that death is just, like, taking up his HP a lot. I probably should be able to kill him next turn. Alright, and I leveled up. Speed unlock. Not that she really needs it. Why? Just, why? Why are these guys doing this to themselves? Okay. This time I did not hit, so that is annoying, but whatever. Alright guys, we're gonna finish... Don't... Stop moving. Stop moving, assholes. Alright, so it looks like these guys are just uh, gonna do this. Um, I don't even know why I summoned them, really. I just it was like, eh, they might help summon. But even these slayers are kinda... You know, you could, you could have um, used these guys a lot in the mid game with uh, Silk, but uh, I took it, it took be a while to get her up in level, so whatever. So I'll see you guys next time.